Okay. <clears throat> it is October favorites time. Uh, I'm sorry that my hair was up. It was wet when I went to class today and I just really didn't feel like dealing with it. I'm going to go through my favorites, but I'm also going to actually give you guys the little update how my Novi and my finishing products things are going. I think um, the best thing for me to do is to do that in my favorites videos just because then it's a once a month update. I don't have to put it into anything else. So I will do that at the end of the video since some of you probably don't care. You can click out when I'm done with my favorites. Okay. First off, uh, my favorites. For my face, I will do my face first. Um, two things. One is my Revlon Color Stay, which I have kind of rediscovered after I finished my um, photo ready. I started, kind of fell in love with this a little bit, so I'm working on this. I'm almost done with it. I think I'm like down to here with it, so um, this is in 150 buff. It's pretty well worn out. Like the lid is like cracked from me screwing it on too tight and it's like dripping out the side and it's really gross, but it's okay because this is a really good product. Um, full coverage, I would suggest it if you like full coverage and it's going to last literally all day. This is very good. Um, other thing for my face is this is the e.l.f. Uh, blush and bronzing palette and not so much the bronzer. I like the bronzer but I'm not working on that bronzer right now. I'm working on a different one. But the blush in this is a really nice light peachy color. Um, it's what I'm wearing today just because I don't want to look like I'm actually blushing but I also don't look want to look like I'm dead. Because once I put my foundation on it's a full coverage foundation and I'm like super white. This is this. Cool. The next three things are for my eyes. First of all, glitter. I love glitter. I talk about that all the time. I'm like the biggest glitter fan. So all things glitter in general is part of my favorites, but I don't have anything specific. Um, but this is the Too Faced, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. Right. Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. Uh, it looks like this. I've had this for a long time. Um, I was probably one of the first people like to have it when it first came out. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's really great. You can put on all your eyeshadow and just if you're lightly just pat it over your eyeshadow and it's not going to mess up your shadow but it'll make a nice base for glitter to stick to and it does hold the glitter on all day. So this is really, really good. Um, and the Too Faced Shadow Insurance is my absolute favorite primer ever so that helps. Uh, the next two things are eyeshadows. I've been in love with this highlight color. This is Vintage Lace from Revlon. It's one of the matte shadows. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I really couldn't tell you, but it is absolutely fantastic. Um, as a highlight color, if you are fair-skinned like I am, I wear this just about every day. Um, I sometimes will put a little bit of Max Cream Color Base and Pearl over it if I want it to be more of like a shinier highlight color. But yes, uh, I love this and it's one of my products that I can work on finishing because it's something I can use every single day. Um, the last thing for my eyes is my MAC eyeshadow in Swiss Chocolate. Um, I really like this. It's what I'm wearing today, but this was like really, really quick makeup because I had to go to class. Um, I really like this just for deepening up the crease if I do just a winged eyeliner or um, mixing it with a little bit lighter of a color like uh, this is Bamboo from MAC. If I want to use a transition color that's a little bit dark. Um, I don't always like to use a trans transition color that's the same color as my skin tone because I do like it to add a little bit of smokiness to the top of whatever look that I'm doing. So I'll mix these two together. This is bamboo and Swiss chocolate and yeah those become my transition colors. So this is fairly multi-purpose. Um, I would check it out if you like MAC but if you're not really into MAC I would say go get into MAC because they're really nothing special. Sorry, favorite for me. I got a new case for my phone. It's like one of those crazy, like heavy duty, I could whip it against the wall and nothing bad would happen to it cases. It's crazy. Like, I'm so, so excited about this because the other day I was uh, on the way back from work and a friend come pick me up. He like stopped in the middle of the street and I had to like run into his minivan, which was really funny in and of its own. Uh, and I dropped my phone and it like skidded into the street and I ran out in front of a car for it <laughs> because I thought it was going to get like smashed because the case I had on it was absolutely terrible. So I got a new case and like I said I could whip this sucker against the wall and nothing is going to happen to this phone and I'm really excited because I'm super clumsy and I always break phones. 
So, which is why, why in the world I got an iPhone and then didn't get any kind of protection plan on it. I'm an idiot. Oh, the last thing is for my lips. This is uh, Lip Licious Bath and Body Works, right? I think that's where this is from. And this is just a clear one that turns pink on your lips, which is kind of like a gimmicky, but that's not why I like it. Well, it is. I like the color that it turns, but I don't think that it's like an individual color for everyone. I think that's a little bit hokey. So anyway, this is really great. I got this. I think around Valentine's Day, which would explain, you know, why it's all like love and what. Now I will get into my products that I've finished. I've already talked about things that I finished. Uh, I finished my L'Oreal Decrease, but I cut it open um, to get the extra product out, so I don't actually have that tube. But um, if you watched my vlog video in this, I did finish my Revlon Photo Ready. So now that I've showed you this, I can throw it away. Um, I finished two mini mascaras: the Urban Decay skyscraper and the fresh supernova and I love this I absolutely freaking love this and I want to buy another one but I can't because I have have a commitment so I finished those um, my fit me powder I finished you know about that and recently since the last time I did the video I finished the uh, decrease and my smashbox photo finish primer is all gone also so um, I think that's it. I will talk to you guys later. I will have a video up very, very soon, another tutorial. And yeah, hope you guys like it. Bye.